Good evening students, long time no see. Uh, I wanted to get this video out to give you some updates on some things that are going on with the course and kind of a progress report as to how we are at the midterm point. Uh, I have posted the, posted the midterm grades onto the uh, Ivy Tech website, so I don't know if the school's got to post them or release them to you, but you might be able to view them now. Uh, either way, I have submitted them. Uh, and I wanted to go over some of the points from you. Combining the three online classes on this intro class that I teach, there are combined 55 students. 36%, uh, which is 20 students, 20 out of the 55, are getting an A in this class. Fantastic job, and to those of you who are remaining dedicated, several of you have like a better than a perfect score with the extra credit that's been available. And congratulations to you, the rest of the semester should be very easy for you. Um, or at least a lot less work and stress. 23% or 13 of the 55 students are receiving a B. Um, only 14 students, or excuse me, 14%, which is eight of the 55 students are receiving a C. Only three students out of the 55, it's 5%, are getting a D. And the staggering number to me is 20% of the students, which is 11 students out of the 55. One out of every five students is failing this class. Um, my initial gut was that uh, there's kind of um, some failure on my part uh, that I am not communicating the material effectively or providing enough resources. But at second look, of the 11 students that are, are not are, that are failing this class, um, 10 did not even take the first exam. So 10 out of the 11 students who are failing did not take the exam. That speaks a lot. I can't do everything for you. Uh, if you even would have bombed a couple of the students who are even getting an A in the class, uh, still did not do well on the first exam, which tells you that the exam is not the end-all be-all, but it is a significant portion of your grade. It is the great portion of your grade. Uh, and without it, you it's, there's just not much expectation that you're going to do very well or even be able to pass this class, as you shouldn't. Um, it is critical that you communicate with me if there's any kind of needs that you guys have. Um, as we move into exam number two, exam number two, uh, this is one of the changes that we're being compliant with the statewide course regulations for this particular course, Intro to Psychology. Um, this will be a non-proctored exam. You do not have to schedule this at your exam site. You will be able to take this at home. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, you, it will be a little bit more difficult because you will only have 90 minutes to complete this exam. 90 minutes, which is the statewide regulation for this exam. Uh, there will be 75 questions as opposed to 55. This again is a statewide regulation for this course. I let you guys slide on the first one, uh, and, and this one needs to be adjusted to fit the statewide regulation. So again, 90 minutes, 75 questions. Please be uh, diligent. You, the best study tool you're gonna have here is the PowerPoint um, slides that are under your course materials. Studying your quizzes, your readings, your chapter in terms, um, these are always good guidelines to study for exams. They're certainly not going to be everything, but you certainly need to know those things. All right. Uh, I've gotten several emails from some of you saying that on the discussion board grading that you have, um, I responded, perfect response, this is exactly what I'm looking for, uh, and you received a zero or no credit. That's just an error. Blackboard is very twitchy. In all probability, I did enter it as 30 or however many points you got, uh, but Blackboard has erased it for some reason. Don't get upset. Uh, it's, it's a very easy fix. I can go in and I will do it immediately upon receiving your email. I'll go back and verify. I do have a manual record of all grading that I do, and I'll go back and adjust that immediately. All right. Um, I want to speak to responsibility and deadlines. Unfortunately, and I'm speaking over the three courses that I teach here, uh, all Intro to Psychology Online, there has been an awful lot of cut and paste lately. You cannot do that. That is plagiarism. That is a violation of school policy. I am obligated to report that to the 
uh, the school. They take that very seriously. You can't cut and paste that is taking credit for someone else's work. I already know what this material is. It's not like I'm asking you to go out and find the answer. I need to know that you know. And it's very easy for someone like myself to, uh, who knows this material, who's immersed in this, as this is what I do for a living. Uh, I've read any peer re uh, review article or journal or publication you're reading on a subject that I'm asking you to read. I have most likely read a million times, okay? So I'm very familiar with a lot of the verbiage and I can tell some of the language that you're using in your responses is not something that I would expect an intro to psychology student to use. Not saying you can't use that, but it certainly uh, needs to match the rest of your writing, all right? Uh, and I do check a lot of the, the, the uh, sentences and I Google things that you use. So please don't plagiarize, please, please, please. Responsibility for deadlines. Uh, this kind of comes back to the exam and, and the exam piece and making sure that uh, there's a reason why we have deadlines and we hold you to them. It's not to be a tyrant, but this is as you go on in your academic career, it is critical that you understand that not every teacher, not every class is going to be able to move for you. I've got 55 students. If I have half the class coming up and asking me to move a deadline on an exam or a quiz, in all probability, it's not going to get done. It's your responsibility. You've signed up for these courses. It's Again, it's not that we're trying to be hard. We're trying to help you establish accountability for your academic career. Okay, And that's part of it. Some, it's never nice to hear no, but uh, and it certainly for me is never nice to say no. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to do it for your benefit. All right? Um, Please note that when you do uh, ask for an exception, and I do make exceptions, uh, but the first thing I do when I ask, if you're asking, hey, look, uh, I'm going to be out of town this weekend. Um, uh, you know, is it okay if I submit my work? I'll still do it, but it might be a day or two late. You know, I'm not unreasonable. Please keep in mind the very first thing I'm going to do when, before I make my decision is I'm going to look back and see how many times you've handed in late work. If you have a track record of handing in late work, you're probably not going to get in a lot of help from me at that point. Uh, I need to. Sh I, I'm happy to grant uh, exceptions to students uh, on a case by case basis, uh, based on their academic record. If I can see you're a dedicated student, you hand in assignments on time, you do your work completely and thoroughly. Um, you know, I'm I'm much more apt to, uh, you know, move a little bit for you. Um, because I understand that this is truly an exception to the rule because your, exp your past um, uh, speaks to that. Weekly assignments. I had a couple of emails today uh, early, and this is Monday, stating where are the assignments. I looked under the weekly assignments and there's nothing there. The quiz isn't there. The discussion board isn't there. As I said very early on in this course, I will post the quizzes and discussion board assignments at Tuesday by Tuesday night at the latest. Still gives you plenty of time to respond to discussion board posts, plenty of time to do quizzes because quizzes aren't due until Sunday. Um, and speaking of deadlines, when you do your quizzes or anything online, I receive a timestamp from when you complete these assignments. So if you are trying to complete your quiz at 1150 p.m. on Sunday and there's something going on like system maintenance or something going on and you can't complete your quiz and you say hey the system was down my response to you will be you should not have waited until the last minute you need to complete your assignments right not right at the deadline but before the deadline okay I'm not insensitive though to system outages if there's something that's extraordinary we'll talk about it send me an email um, If by some chance I have not posted the quiz or discussion board and you don't know what to do, please go under the weekly assignments each class session. Go under weekly assignments and course tools and course materials. There's plenty of PowerPoints and videos uh, for you to watch. Okay. You'll notice that in the second session, uh, the section, the first section was week one through five and then the exam one. This will be 6 through 10 in exam 2. So the exam 2 session, you'll notice, and this has been done intentionally, that I have not been posting my lecture videos. And there's a reason for that. I have been tracking the number of views in the first 
session of videos and how many views I've gotten. Again, I've gotten, I've had over 55 students in the three classes. The two weeks prior to the exam, only 34 students had watched one of my chapter, 34 of the 55 students had watched uh, the chapter four lecture. Only 13 students had watched the chapter five lecture. Uh, I had posted the exam review and between week one, or excuse me, week four and week five, the exam review video went from seven views to 30 views to the following week, 69 views. Meanwhile, the chapter video views not were not going up, which means as a group, I understand some of you are watching them and I, I appreciate those of you who do because it takes a lot of time to put those together. That means all you're doing is reviewing the chapter review videos and you're trying to bypass the readings and uh, lecture videos and other materials I've provided to you and trying to pass this course solely on getting a study sheet. And you're not going to pass a class that I take just by reviewing a study sheet. You need to, you need to do some work um, and read the, read the material. All right. I'm happy to provide those videos and, and do those things for you. I like doing those things, but uh, I, I need to make sure you're reading and if I'm posting you know kind of videos that nobody's watching um, you know that kind of feels like I'm wasting my time and spinning my wheels so I would like some of you to send me some messages and see how many of you want those videos and based on the number of responses from this uh, that I get from this video will determine whether or not I continue to post those lecture videos so let me know if you like them don't like them do they help do they not help um, please let me know all right if you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to keep you guys updated as to the things going on, and I'll probably post another one of these videos the week before the exam and uh, kind of give you guys some study tips and places to look for research materials. Again, I'm not going to go over the exam, but um, I'll let you give you some exam tips. All right, take care.